Hello everyone, good morning. This is Ms. Niha here. How are you all? I hope you all are doing great. So let's continue with our next lesson, lesson five. And this will be our, this will be our last lesson for this topic. Uh, the name of the lesson is Use Appropriate Tools. And this is a problem solving lesson. Our page numbers are 691 to 694. And the homework pages are 695 to 696. So let's begin. Now, I know we all are familiar with all the vocabulary words we have learned in this topic. We know we have learned longest, shortest, longer, shorter, length, measure. Now, in our previous uh, class, we have learned what the meaning of measure and length unit. So now I know. Well, all of you know what are the meanings of these vocabulary words. Now, let's have a quick review about what we learned yesterday. Yesterday, we learned that how can you measure the length and the height. The length means how long an object is, and the height is how tall the object is. Now, here, as you can see, there's a picture. What picture is it? Come on, kids, tell me. What is it? Excellent, it's a school. Now I want to see, I want to measure how long the school is or how big the school is and how tall the school is, right? So we know the bottom from one end to the other end. This is called, bravo, this is called the length. And from top to bottom, it's called height or how tall an object is. So let's quickly Take your take our cubes and measure the length and the height. So I want all of you to count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So what's the length of the school? It is about seven cubes long. Now, what about the height? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, how many cubes tall? About nine cubes tall. So, I can say that the school is taller than it is longer, right? Yes. Now, I want you to take cubes, a string, and a paper clip with you. Now, in this lesson, we will be using these three objects, okay? Now, here, as you can see, it says, choose an appropriate tool and use it to measure object. Now, this is what we are going to do. You have to choose which tool will be best for me to measure an object, and then you will measure with it. So, quickly, I want all of you to take a string or a piece of a yarn, or and take a paper clip, and take a cube. Now, my question for all of you is, how can you measure an object which is not straight? Now, in our previous lessons, we have seen all the objects, they are straight. We have measured the straight line. We have measured everything which is straight and we placed the cube below it and it, it was easy for us to measure. Now, how can you measure something which is not straight? Now, here as you can see, it's a zigzag line, right? Now, this line, I want to measure how long this line is. So, do you think if I place my cubes like this, this will give me correct answer? Is this the correct way to measure? Yes, kids, come on, tell me. Is this the correct way to measure? Do we place the cubes like this? No. If we want to measure something which is not straight, so what we will do is... First, we will take our string, okay? Now here, as you can see, 
let me take this is a, this is I will take a string and first I will measure my string I will put my string all the way like this below this line like this okay so first I will take my string and I will put below it because it can easily bend, right? Then I would take this string and I will put it straight, right? Now I can easily measure how long that zigzag line was, right? Now this is that string. Now I can place my cube here and then I can count. So count with me. One, two, three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen so this the zigzag line is 14 cubes long so you understand how we did it now read this here it says when you have curvy object use string and cubes so when you, whenever you want to measure something which is not straight, first you will place the string below it, take the measurement, then put the string straight, and then you can place the cube on top of it, and then you can easily measure. Okay, so this is our important point over here. When you have curvy object, use string and cube. Okay, now when we do when we solve our questions, if you have an object which is curvy, so remember we have to use string and cube. But if something which is already straight, you will just use the cubes. Or you can use the pins. So let's begin with the video for better understanding. How do you measure an object that is not straight? Let's find out. How is the snake different from other objects you have measured? Because it's not straight. The snake is not straight. What tools can you use to measure the snake? What tools can you use to measure something that is not straight? So there are so many tools, right? You can use paper clips, cubes, string, or more than one tool. Why is the string a good tool for measuring the snake? The string is a good tool because you can bend it to be curvy, so it will line up along the snake. How can you use a string to measure the snake? First, line the string up with the snake. Next, you can straighten the string and then measure its length with cubes. The snake is about five cubes long. Now you know how to measure an object that is not straight. So now you understand how to measure something which is not straight. Use the string, then place it straight, and then you can measure it with the cube, okay? So let's begin with our textbook page. Take all of you, open page number 691 and be ready. Now here, thinking habits. Now you know, whenever we have problem solving lesson, we always focus on thinking habits. Remember, a good math thinker are those who knows which tool to use to solve the question? Now, which tool I can I use? We know you can use a cube, you can use a paper clip, you can use string. There are so many tools. Is there a different tool I could use? Of course, there are so many different tools you can use. Now, which tool or tools would you use to measure the length of the ribbon? Tell why. Measure the ribbon, then circle the tools you used. Now here, you have a cube and the paper clip. Now which one do you think will be easy for you to measure this ribbon? 
Come on, kids, tell me. A cube? Or a paper clip? Now, let's draw it. If you say paper clip, I will draw a paper clip here. We start from here. One, two, three, four, five. Do you think it's correct? No, it's not correct because this will not give me the exact measurements, right? Now, how about, how about cube? Now, let's draw the cube here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, the measure of this ribbon is about seven cubes. Now, here you see this ribbon is not that curvy that requires me to use a string if it's too much curvy i can use a string but here as you can see it's a little bit a little bit curved not a lot so i think the cubes were helpful for me to measure the length of the ribbon the paper clips did not give me uh, the accurate results do you understand how to do it yes you do it Let's move on to our next page, 692. Now, here, circle whether you need just cubes or string and cubes to measure each object, then measure. Now, in this question, they give you an option whether you will use cubes or you will use strings and cubes. So what did we learn? We learned that if you have something, any object which is curvy, go for strings and cube. This will give you your correct measurements because string can easily bend and then you can lay the string straight and then put the cubes upon it and you can measure it. Now here, number one, see question number one. Now here, this, this is again this exact line. Same like the example I have given you, right? Now here, what do you think? Cubes will be helpful or strings and cubes? So they say about four cubes. First, you put the string and then you would lay it straight. And then you will place, look here. I put this string here, okay? And then the same string, I put it straight. And then when I put my cubes here, one, two, three, four. It took me about four cubes, right? Now, question number two. This is a marker. Now, this is something which is straight object. What do you think? Cubes or strings and cubes? Good job cubes because it's straight so i can place my cubes and measure it so one two three four five so this marker is about five cubes long okay let's move to our next page now this is really easy Circle whether you need just cubes or strings and cubes to measure each object. Then measure. Now here, see question number three. Here there's a muffler. Now what do you think will be appropriate to cubes or string and cubes? You know how to do it. When something is curvy, you will go for strings and cubes. Now here, this is a flute. Yeah, this is a flute. So what will you use? Cubes or strings and cubes? This is something which is straight, so you know what you have to use. Now there's a flower here. This is also a straight flower. So what will you use? Cubes or strings and cubes? Now here, this is an alligator or, yeah, yeah. So this one, no, this is a lizard. Yeah, this is a lizard. So you see this lizard is not straight, it's curvy. 
So, what will you use? Cubes or strings and cubes? You know how to do it. Now, let's move to our last page. Now, this is the problem solving. This is the best part of all the lesson. Now, here, this is an assessment. I will explain you how to do it. It's really easy, and I know you all can do it. Hanging bracelets. Kate needs to hang these bracelets in order from shortest to longest. Circle the set of tools that Kate should use to measure. Now look at these bracelets. Girls, all the girls here. You see, these bracelets, one is in this shape, one is this one, another one is like this one. Now which one do you think is the shortest? You will just write the number one, two, and three beside each other and then tell me what will you use. Cubes or cubes and string? Then you will just circle it and then you have to explain why the tools you choose gives the most accurate measurement. And number nine, here measure each bracelet, then write the colors of the bracelets in order from shortest to longest. So which is the shortest one color you will write here, then a little bit lo longer and then the last one is the longest. Okay, I hope you understand this lesson. Till then everyone stay safe stay clean thank you very much bye bye